Alright, alright, detecting talk of the day number two. 19 of June, 2023, 14 p.m. Central Daylight Savings Time. See that threatening sky back over yonder to the west? You know, I peruse around on the forums, and I think I've come upon something here, you know, and I, you hear this word fan being used, you know, like I'm a DS2 fan, or I'm an XP fan, or I'm a Mind Lab fan. Well, people use that word, you know, that's probably not even a good word to use, because when you think of a fan, you know, I think of it more like, let's say you live in Buffalo, New York. And you want to go watch the Buffalo Bills play football. And you would be a fan of the Buffalo Bills. Well, well, that's because you live close to them. You know what I mean? You wouldn't drive or fly to necessarily to San Francisco and watch the San Francisco 49ers. So you're sort of, what I'm saying is, you're tied to that team, you know, because that's the team near you. Now, you can be a fan of a football team or a basketball team, but that doesn't mean that team's the best, does it? It could be in certain years, certain seasons, but it's not the best. So, you know, I hear people make comments, you know, I've seen one gentleman, you know, I I, I wondered about this all along. Now the cat's out of the bag. You know, he's he's not had a very high opinion of his day is too. Yeah, he's got him a manicure and I guess he's unboxing it, you know, but then the guy finally admits, oh by the way, you know, I have to admit I'm a fan of my lab. Well being a fan of anything, I guess, doesn't mean it's necessarily the best. And I guess this guy's a big time E Track user, and I've, you know, I had three E Tracks. I know all about that machine. I used it. You know, I guess here's a question. This is, you know, I try to use logic when I'm thinking, you know, and I look around on these forums. I don't see a lot of DS2s up for sale. And I know a lot of these people that's bought these days twos have run had CTXs or had E tracks. So they've had their days twos long enough. So if they're back out in some of these sites where they've had these E tracks and these CTXs, if they were coming up dry, well, what do you think they would have probably did? Got something else? Saw their days two? Instead, a lot of these people are posting results. They're posting fines. Okay. Now, th this is interesting too. I don't know the answer to this, but if this FBS, FBS2 tech that MindLab calls it, and I'm not picking on MindLab, it's just, this is just a reality. The CTX FBS2 was released in 2012, if my memory serves me correctly. Well, how many years ago has that been? So, if that technology, they didn't, they didn't make an FBS3 machine. They, it's multi IQ. So, I guess the question is, has Mind Lab themselves? They see the weakness with FBS, FBS2, hence no FBS3, and, and they went the multi-IQ route, multi-IQ plus route. You know, something for you to think about. Of course, you know, XP, you know, they're their own little company, you know, and they made, they made that machine, and Dr. Macro has made the legend, okay? The machines all really do have something in common, by the way. You know, there's some commonalities between them. Okay, but they don't all behave the same in all instances. I can tell you that. Equinox, Legend. 
day is two. They're not, you know, they don't behave the same in all instances. So yeah, well you can be a fan of a team, you can be a fan of a manufacturer. You know, there's people around here that bought Chevy trucks for years and years and years. Were they the best trucks made? No, not all them years. That was quite obvious. The Japanese started really taking over a lot of the market share of the American auto industry, okay? Compare, you know, if we dial back and compare 1985 to now, well, what do you see? So, yeah, we had Japanese car companies, trucks, started making pickup trucks, and oh, you know, and then remember this, you know, then it used to be, oh, that's an import, that's a rice burner. Well, then they started making them over here in this country, you know, okay, so now what's your excuse? But anyway, you know, that's a little detecting talk number two, you know, to sit and watch people talk about equipment. Look, if Donald Duck made a metal detector and it got released tomorrow and I got my hands on it and it was smoking the manicure and the D is two, I'd probably have one. I'd be talking about it, okay, and I'd be showing it. I'd be comparing it. Wouldn't matter to me who made it, as long as it was for real and it performed. So, you know, I'm not, manuf I'm not, I don't have any allegiance to any manufacturer when it comes to, well, their product's got to be the best. It don't work that way with me. So, you know, when you hear me talk, you know, I'm not biased towards any one company. And I never have been. I, it's just, if I own a piece of equipment, you can almost bet it's doing something pretty good, okay? It's definitely doing something a lot of other machines can't do. Hope you enjoyed.